All right, guys, welcome to your 27th physics lesson. And in this lesson, I want to talk to you guys about potential energy. So now that we understand the difference between power and work, let's go ahead and talk about energy. Scientists say that energy is the ability to do work, which kind of makes sense because, you know, whenever I have energy, I could do some work. I could, you know, go get a job or do something productive. Even though I usually just watch movies or go to McDonald's, I have the ability to do work, which is the important thing. So we already know whenever we're talking about work in physics, we're talking about force times displacement. So now that we understand that, let's go ahead and talk about potential energy or the ability to make this crap happen. So probably the easiest example I can think of is when you have an apple that's growing from a tree. Now of course, whenever apples grow up, mature, grow ripe, they fall to the ground. But right now, this apple is still growing. It isn't doing crap. It isn't producing any energy. It isn't working at all. However, like I said, whenever this apple is just hanging from the branch, it will give off two things when it falls. First of all, whenever this apple falls, it's going to move, therefore causing a displacement, and it's also going to hit the ground with a certain amount of force. So since it's going to move and hit the ground with a certain amount of force, we know that this apple is going to one day work. It's going to produce energy, and since this apple has the potential to work one day, we call this potential energy. Potential energy. So basically, when something isn't working yet or not giving off any energy, but it has the potential to do so, we call the energy that is stored in this apple potential energy. Now, in this example, potential energy of this apple depends on two things. First of all, the more work it's going to do is depend on how high off the ground the apple is and also the weight of the apple. The heavier this apple is, the more force it's going to hit whenever it hits the ground. And also the higher this apple is, the harder it's going to hit the ground. So again, the potential energy, if we want to calculate the potential energy of this apple, is dependent on the weight and the height of the apple. So let's go ahead and run some calculations on this slide since I'm running out of room. So the formula for potential energy is equal to weight and, or, or excuse me, I didn't mean equals to, weight times height. The heavier and the higher off the ground something is, the more potential energy it has, the more it's going to work eventually. So we'll say that the apple has, I don't know, let's give it a weight of equal to six newtons and we'll give it a height. How far do apples usually grow off the ground? Well, apple trees are pretty big. I don't know, like, a, I don't know. I'm just going to say something stupid like 20 meters, even though that would probably be a really huge apple tree. And by the way, I probably shouldn't mention this before I get, uh, you know, too far ahead of you guys. I know that I usually say that Newton is the unit for force, but weight and force, since gravity is consistent on Earth, pretty much weight and force are the same thing or equal. So I often use these two terms interchangeably, and that is actually valid because whenever you're talking about Earth, weight and force are indeed interchangeable. Fun fact for you guys. So now what we want to do, let's get back on track here, is we want to calculate how much potential energy or how much energy is stored in that apple. So what we do is we take the weight of the apple, which is six newtons, and we multiply it by how high off the ground was the apple, which is 20 meters. And of course, you guys can probably do this, but we end up with 120 newton times meter. And if you remember from the last tutorial, whenever you have newton times a meter, you end up with a joule. So this apple has a potential energy of 120 joules. One day it is, well pretty much, there is 120 joules of energy stored in this apple. That's how much potential it has. Simple enough, I just explained to you guys what potential energy is, I don't need to explain that. So that is how you calculate potential energy of things hanging from the ground, and there are also so many other applications that we can use potential energy in that it's also it's pretty much mind blowing and in the upcoming tutorials I'm going to show you guys all the different things that you can do with potential energy 
probably one of the most important concepts in physics. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys in an upcoming video.